pain you might be going through. God is not moved by your pain. God is not moved by what you are going through. God is moved by your desire. And when today, I am so blessed to come to you again. Listen, I have been watching a, a, a testimony on Emmanuel TV. Remember, I'm giving you a testimony of my life, of what happened to me, how people came to me and asked to buy um, uh, uh, buses for me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to a testimony that was uh, posted uh, uh, just a day ago on Emmanuel TV. It says, how a cheetah changed my life. Uh, it's on Emmanuel TV. I'm going to play a, a part of it on, on this broadcast. I'm going to play part of it so that you understand. I told my wife that um, I want to have a safari a company and then I want to be a director. My wife looked at me as like, are you crazy? I said, no, I'm not crazy. I mean it. And then because the situation uh, was not um, really good where we live, it, yeah, I mean, you guys know when I say situation. So I started to look for the name of my company. This is before I met uh, my partner now. So I was like, I was like, what kind of name should I should I use uh, for my company? And then something came. Of course, the Holy Spirit say, watch Emmanuel TV. So I watch Emmanuel TV. I saw this more on others, less on myself. So I've been looking every day. I've been watching Emmanuel TV. What, what TB Joshua, Prophet TB Joshua is doing amazing job to support the less privileged. So I say, wow, my I think the name of the company will be coming from that more on others, less on ourselves. So I decided to call it less on ourselves, more on others, which is LOMO. L-O-M-O, -O, less on ourselves, more on others. And um, that's the name that was in my... In my Shall we clap for Jesus Christ? So... So you can see where the brother got the inspiration for a name for a business that in his wildest dream would not even happen. But because he started watching Manuel TV and seeing the, listening to the message of Prophet TV Joshua, he got inspired to think of having his own business, even though his present condition did not suggest that he would even have uh, any small business, let alone a uh, very big business like that. So he was able to come with a name, less on others, more on ourselves, L-O-M-O. -O. Okay, so what now happened after you got that name? That was before you met this couple that came from the Netherlands, right? Yes. yes so when yes, you now met exactly. them and you showed them the, the cheetah and they invited you to a dinner, what happened? Yes, so they invited me for dinner to have more talk, and then uh, they told me, okay, what do you think? Um, can we work together? Uh, can you open the safari company? I said, of course. You know, I was so excited. I was started to shake. They say, okay, how many safari vehicles do you think we'll start with? So I told them, I've been watching Emmanuel TV, so Prophet TV Joshua is very humble, uh, and uh, usually um, I was so Im impressed. And Remember, this is to uplift somebody. This testimony is also to uplift somebody. Somebody who's thinking, you know, um, things are not working for me. This testimony is to uplift you. But also remember, no matter what pain you might be going through, God is not moved by your pain. God is not moved by what you are going through. God is moved by your desire. God is moved by what you are pursuing. So you need to begin something. And now you need to expect God to do something in whatever that you have begun. So trust God as you begin whatever business, whatever that you are beginning, trust God that God is going to make it happen. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Let's meet again as I bring you part five for the glory of God. Thank you. Amen and amen and amen.